another video. <clears throat> My voice is coming back slowly but surely. Thank God, bro. Those couple of vlogs where I had no voice sounded so bad. It's still kind of bad, but it's getting better. Guys, today's a sad day. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we're giving away the GTR again. <laughs> I just got it back as you guys know and then it was gone for seven months. I don't even know longer probably dude finally got it back I've been enjoying it so much. I've been having so much fun in this car I swear dude. It's the most fun car ever. I gotta give the car away again guys I'm always dreading this time, but I have to do it There's some things I got to do to the GTR just to make it perfect because right now it is not perfect There's a lot of imperfections and a lot of flaws on this car right now and I want to make it like perfect guys. I want to make it show car ready and just make it look mint because right now Like I said, it's catfish. It looks good on camera. It looks good in photos. It looks good on Instagram But in person it needs some work, bro <laughs> Let me just show you what we're about to do today guys. It sucks It's gonna be down for about a week and then it's gonna be down for another week because I got to get the wheels powder coated But the reason I'm doing it now is because this this week I'm gonna do all like the clear coat stuff that I was talking about which I'll show you right now And then next week I leave to Hawaii. So I'm gonna be in Hawaii for about a week. Finally. I'm taking a vacation guys <laughs> As you guys know, I've been going non-stop on the merch on the vlogs on everything guys the editing the uploading all that good stuff So I'm finally gonna take a little vacation. I'm excited Josephine surprised me with Hawaii tickets for my birthday I'm gonna try to film a little bit there and upload some Hawaii content if you guys want Want that comment down below let me know but since we'll be gone for a week that's when i'll do the wheels but at least it feels like i'm not waiting for my gtr while i'm in hawaii the wheels will be getting powder coated at the same time so it'll, it'll work out but it does suck because i'm gonna be without the gtr for about two weeks guys i mean you guys yeah you guys probably not gonna see this car for two weeks and we just got it back which sucks dude we're gonna take the car to my boy roman shop body shop so they do body work paint and clear coat stuff like that so i'm gonna bring it over there and we're gonna re-clear coat the carbon fiber trunk if you guys saw since it was sitting outside at the shop for a long time a couple months the sun damaged the carbon so bad i hope it picks up on camera but it's horrible like honestly it's very freaking bad especially over here Dude, the sun just ate up the carbon fiber. So we're gonna get this all sanded down, all rear clear coated. It's gonna look brand new when it's done. Super glossy. It's gonna look good. While we're at it, might as well do the carbon fiber side skirts too, I think. We might clear coat those again. Cause they're in good shape. They just need to be re-clear coated. It's just the sun. And then we're gonna go to the front lip. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to see, but the lip has a bunch of rock chips. You see all these rock chips? That's from daily driving a full bolt on GTR, bro. <laughs> Cause as you guys know, I daily drove this car for like three years straight. We went to Vegas, to San Diego, everywhere, bro. I went to a bunch of rallies, a bunch of car cruises. And yeah, you know, it's hard to keep your car nice when you actually drive them, you know? It's not a garage queen at all. I drive the shit out of my cars. Bunch of rock chips. But all of that will come off too. We just gotta sand it down, re-clear coat it. It's gonna look brand new. So I'm excited, guys. I've been wanting to do that for the longest. While it's at the body shop, I'm gonna have him take off the bumper and remove this headlight. Cause as you guys see, I got condensation in the headlight, bro. That's inside, guys, all the water. And eventually, it's gonna mess up the electronics and mess up my actual headlight. So, so while I was at the body shop, we're gonna take the headlight off and take it down to my boy, Narvin. Narvin's gonna open up the headlight, clean it all out, dry it up, and then reseal it perfect. So we gotta fix this freaking bumper. I don't know if you guys are able to see, but look at this. The lights are sticking out, bro. And the gap is so ugly. Like, it's a huge gap. And the reason why is because these tires, I don't know guys, These I know they're 18s like my old wheels, but I think these T's are way more aggressive than my old wheels. They're way wider, they literally stick out more than the fender, and it's rubbing so bad. It's literally, you can even see on the tire, look it. It's rubbing super bad. And it's literally bumping the bumper so much that it's making it sag. So we gotta fix that, because this is horrible, like what? Bro, it's so, this thing needs a lot of work, I'm telling you guys. It looks beautiful on camera, it looks beautiful on pictures, but there's a lot of things I gotta fix. To this side, you can see, look, huge gap as well, rubbing all over the tire as well. These tires are a little bit too wide. I don't know if I need to make smaller tires or raise the car up a little bit, I don't know. That's another thing, I don't know, can springs slowly, eventually start being more soft? Because I put these springs on the car about like three years ago when I first bought it. And I feel like over time, it's just super bouncy now and super soft. I feel like every time the car like bounces down, that's what's making it rub so bad because it's like so bouncy. So maybe like stiffer springs or maybe coilovers. I don't know, but we got to fix that too. 
And then lastly, on Friday, before my flight to Hawaii, I'm gonna drop the car off and we're gonna re coat the wheels a new color. So stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna keep it a little secret. I told you guys my ideas, my thoughts on what colors I wanna do. It's a little secret. I think you guys are gonna be excited for what the color we're gonna do. It's gonna look sick, watch. Once we get back from Hawaii, the car is gonna be complete. Mint, it's gonna look perfect. We're gonna fix all those issues that I just went over. I know it's a lot, guys, trust me. It's stressing me out. Oh my God, dude. It literally feels so fast, I'm not used to it. I'm starting to step on it, guys. I was super paranoid at first, but I don't know. I had to do it. It's so fun though. I do not want to give it back, dude. I don't want to give it away. <laughs> Bro, oh, that was fun. My last little short drive to my boy Roman's shop. I'm so sad dropping it off already, guys. You guys don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so fast. I'm not used to driving a fast car again. We were driving the F80 for a few months and then I was carless for about a month. So jumping into this straight to like 700 horsepower, bro, it's fast, guys. It feels like a thousand horsepower. F80 was slow, dude, compared to this. So I just got used to that power. I wasn't used to this again. Let's go check out the shop real quick. Precision auto repair. Guys, if you need any collision work or insurance work or anything, even like gloss carbon fiber, stuff like this that you want to re-clear coat, anything car related, body related, my boy Roman is the guy, guys. He has an F80, I showed you it, the blue one F012. He has an F8 Ferrari, that matte black one that he let me drive F012. He has a lot of sick cars and he's a super cool dude. And like I said, if you need anything collision repair or anything like that related, here is the place to go, guys, I promise. Mention my name, tell him that Nick sent you. Go take care of the insurance, behind the scenes stuff. He'll deal with all that drama and get your car fixed the right way, guys. Or get your money right. <laughs> tell him that Nick sent you and he got you, guys. Hello, Roman. Hello. Damn, you busy? Almost done, almost done. Almost, I know. He's been building up the shop, guys, it's so nice. This is your second body shop, huh? Fifth. Fifth? Oh my God. Rich. No, no rich, nothing. <laughs> bro, it's so ugly, bro. You ready to get it fixed up? It needs some work. It needs some love. It needs a lot of love. Literally, bro, it needs a bunch of stuff. It has a bunch of flaws. But look at this, too. Why is that like that? I think it's rubbing so bad that it's like uh, fucking up the bumper, bro. Well, we're gonna take off the bumper to take off the headlights. So yeah. And then you can fix at... this? Like, the gap? Might need a new bracket, maybe. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know. Let's check this out. These are both Romans. E36 M3, E46 M3. And you got an E92 M3 and an F80 M3. You got all of them, bro. E30? No. Soon. G80? Soon. No, no G80. <laughs> all of them. You almost got all of them, though. That's crazy. This one for black one. Yeah, the black one's so nice already. It's gonna be nice and clean once I'm done. Damn. This one's beautiful, too. E46. With that interior. And manual. Bro, that's a brand new. Yeah. They are? <laughs> wow, bro. That looks sick. Yeah, he literally has all the M3s, which is freaking fire. R8 crashed. <laughs> that sucks, bro. Anyways, I told them if they need any collision stuff, this is the place to go. You're gonna be more busy. <laughs> yeah, wait till it's done. I know. You need to vlog it when it's fully done. Yeah, the shop's coming together though. Look at all the glass, it looks super sick. I'll show you guys after. It's yeah. a work in progress, but he's still doing business. Yeah. He's still making, oh, doing it. <laughs> Just like that, we're dropping it off, dude. So sad. Damn, that car is so beautiful. I can't wait, though. It is gonna look good. It's sad letting it go, but guys, I promise it's gonna be way better once it's back. <laughs> Roman's all scared to drive it. He's like, I don't wanna be responsible to break it. <laughs> Which one? You don't wanna be responsible? <laughs> nah, it should be good, hopefully. Damn, it should look sick. I like the color, bro. It's so clean. All right, guys. Oh, you'll see it probably like by Thursday. He said, look what else we got. My F80 trunk spoiler. Again, if anybody wants this spoiler, bro, come pick it up. I'll sell it for like a hundred bucks or something. I don't know. Bro, I'll give it to David as a gift for his new F80. Honestly, I might do that, to be honest. Like I said, it's sad letting the GTR go right now, but it is going to be way better once we get the car back. I promise. You know what I said? My car's catfish. Why? Because it looks good online. Yeah, it looks good, good, good. Online and in pictures and on video, but in person, like when you, when you really look up close, guys, I showed you guys all the flaws right now. It's really bad, so Roman's gonna help me out. We're gonna get this thing looking perfect, I promise. You guys, I don't know what we're gonna get into anymore today. Again, we're back to Carless Nick. 
so we gotta start making content again with no car. I don't know what we're gonna do, but. Right now, on the way home, I wanted to stop at this BMW dealership because I heard and I've been seeing all over the Instagram and TikTok everywhere that they have a crazy spec G80 here. And when you guys see this spec, you guys will see why I love it so much, dude. Unless someone bought it, but I doubt it. It's super expensive, way out of my budget for a G80. <laughs> It's literally probably cost more than an R8. I'm not even gonna lie. Wait till you guys see this G80. It's the perfect car ever. Oh, I see it. Oh my God, it's the perfect car ever. Check this out, guys. Oh my God, dude. It is an insane spec, bro. The color's beautiful. You like the color? Of course. The color's sick. Oh, of course. Paint, it's not wrapped. This is the real Finding Nick color. Yeah, I was fake, bro. I had the wrap. Wow, what color is it? It's called uh, Mint Green. That's the color. Yeah, I've seen it all over Instagram, guys. Like, everyone's been posting it. As soon as I walked in, he was like, I know what you're coming to look at. He said, she's waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, he said, she's waiting for you. He said he could already tell by my face what I'm coming in to look at. I'm sure everyone's coming here to look at it. Let's look at the interior. He said I can look inside of it. We just can't sit in it, but let's go to the side. Look at this, guys. Look how beautiful. Holy wow, crap. That is nice. <laughs> yeah, I got the big screen. Damn, it even has the teal M3 on there, look at it. How cute. That is sick, it's cute. How cute. <laughs> what do you think, you like it? I love the seats. Yeah, the seats are beautiful. Oh, but these are like the uncomfortable seats. Uncomfortable, uncomfortable seats, guys. Seats? Yes, carbon bucket seats, look. Yeah. It got every option, guys. Mint green, 4,500 bucks. The Silverstone and black leather, 2,300 bucks. Carbon ceramic brakes, 8,500, guys. Yes, this thing has carbon ceramics. That is crazy. It's hard to find G80s with that spec as well. And then right here, carbon bucket seats, 4,500. It's fully loaded. Insane, dude. Wow. Carbon on the inside. So sick. Guys, tell me this isn't the best looking G80 ever. I mean, some people aren't probably big fans of this color, but if you guys have been watching my channel for over the years, you know this is my favorite color. And to see it on a factory color, like paint, that is crazy, bro. Carbon ceramic brakes, too. Damn. Damn, those are nice. Carbon fiber exhaust tips. X drive, bro. Everything. Everything you need. That's how you know it's paint. It's literally a flex, I swear. This is the OG Finding Nick, dude. If only we got this on. Anyways, I really wanted to come. I really wanted to show you guys and, and just d drool over it because, dude, you guys know. <laughs> like I said before, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know why I like this car so much, dude. My E92 is this color. I actually wrapped the E92 twice in a Tiffany blue, bro. Another G80 out here, look, M4, G82, sorry. Everyone gets so mad when I say G80 when it's a G82. <laughs> Same thing, guys, come on. Manual, stick shift, damn, but it doesn't have buckets, bro. Damn it, but it's frozen white. I just realized that, how did I not realize that, bro? Frozen white M4, stick shift, just no buckets. I don't know. The, the factory uh, frozen white might make up for it. Damn, man, it's stick, dude. Guys, she wants to get a new car. We're trying to figure out what car to get her. So comment down below, what car should we get, Josephine? <laughs> what car do you want? She wants a GLE. Yeah, yeah I do the sun. the SUV. <laughs> yeah, she's bougie, guys. She wants the AMG GLE. We're thinking about maybe a Tesla. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people are going to talk shit right here and say, nah, I don't get a Tesla, but. Bro, they're cool. Cool little daily. I could drive it. No I gas. It's cute to get a BMW because Nick is all into it. Yeah, she wants a Beamer. She said if she gets a Beamer, I can mod it, but I don't know. What Beamer would you get? You, uh, what am I, how am I, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> look at this one. This is a 330 look. Oh, with the interior. Why? That you, hate? that you like? No, actually, it's like, what is this? Is like a brown? Like a burgundy. Red? I don't know. Like burgundy. It literally got like G80 interior. Same dash and everything. Not bad. How do we just go car shopping right now? I know. <clears throat> Guys, I really want that G80. Like, I'm not even joking. He said that, like, a lot of people haven't bought it. He thinks it's because a lot of guys don't like that color. But I like it, bro. I don't know. That's why I said when I first started the vlog, I was like, I know a lot of people might not like that color. A lot of people won't. Like, I have friends that would never drive that car. But me, like, I love that color. And he was like, it's a girl color, bro. I think they knew you. I don't know. I couldn't tell if he knew me or not. He did. Why? He literally said, I knew you by your face when you walked in. Oh, maybe. But that's what he was saying. He's like, I knew it was you. That's because bro, she's waiting. That's your car. I know. As soon as I walked in, she's like, she's waiting for you. He had the key ready. Yeah. I was like, what the How'd you know I was coming? So he recognized When I used to drive the E92 Tiffany Blue, every girl would look, bro. Like, it's just a girly color. I get it, but it's sick. Should we go look over here real quick? They might have a... 
You're doing crack? Audi R8 over here. Guys, I guess it's the mark, I think it was like 117 for the G80. And then there's obviously a markup and it taxes fees, all that stuff. I bet you that G80 out the door is probably like $130,000, which is crazy. Because the R8 I was looking at was 120. So bro, G80 more than an R8 is kind of crazy to me, dude. Even though I want that car so bad, I don't know. Comment down below, guys. What do you guys think? I don't know, bro. I need some help on that one, guys. Because that is a lot of money for a BMW. But the spec makes up for it. That spec is ridiculous. You will never run into another mint G80 on the street, ever. You'll see it up the street, you'll be like, no, that's Nick's car right there. Guys, we came in the Audi dealer and look at it. Oh my God, dude. There she is. Is yes. <laughs> this is the R8 GT. This is what PQ has. Literally the top of the Holy Grail R8. And it's black with the carbon everywhere. Carbon wing. Damn, bro. <laughs> this car is beautiful. This is like the R8 to buy. Look at that. R8 GT. That's the one. It comes with the wing. It because comes with all, all this. Yeah, all the carbon. She knows. Yeah. It comes with everything. <laughs> this one is like. Everything they got? Yeah, this is the Holy Grail so R8. Like the other ones don't come with like. Are those the side Hell skirts? Hell no. Like they don't come. Not? Yeah, this already comes with side skirts. She yeah. knows. How do you know? I got window tint already too. <laughs> Perfect. It Look at the interior. Car, huh? Even because of the carbon lip on it. Wow. It looks so high for ground compared to all your cars. I know. It is lifted. I'm gonna slam the hell out of it. What's the difference between that one and the one that you're gonna get? About a hundred thousand. But like holistically. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yeah, the GT is like track inspired, I think. Oh, so okay. it has the wing. But it why has like suspension? Eh, it's the same car, but not really. <laughs> and the interior is full Alcantara. Everything suede. Oh, you love that. Everything. The steering wheel, the headliner, the seats, everything. We've been just home chilling. And I've been just looking at this photo of the G80. And holy crap, guys. I actually do want it. <laughs> I posted on my story, Audi R8 or G80? And it's pretty dead even. A little bit more people said the R8, but... I know it's ultimately up to me, like it's my car, I should be picking what I want, but guys, this is the hardest decision ever. Like, this would be sick. Like, it's not just some regular G80, bro. It's a freaking one of one G80. I think there's only like a handful of these made in Tiffany blue, well, mint is the color, but like the Tiffany color. It would be super rare, super one of a kind. This one is extremely specked out, bro. Like I said, Karma Ceramic Brakes, which is a $9,000 option. Bucket Seats, $5,000 option. The mint color is like a $5,000 option. And then I think the list goes on, bro. It's like every spec you can do, this one has it. It has X Drive, which is another like probably 10,000 above, like a stick shift version. So I don't know, bro. It is crazy. It's fully specked out. And uh, I think it would be worth it. Like this is kind of like, I don't want to say it, but kind of like supercar level. You guys know it's like the perfect color for me. I love the color, bro. And a person is insane. It'll get so much attention. Oh, it's just so hard, bro. There's literally pros and cons of both. A supercar is a supercar no matter what. G80 at the end of the day, it's still a BMW, but it is a crazy spec, so it kind of makes up for it. But oh, I don't know, bro. Or, 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 or. It has that laser headlights too. Laser headlights, carbon roof. Or I was thinking, <clears throat> since this one's like crazy expensive, insane, like it literally is like R8 type uh, monthly payments. Or we could build a G80, guys, because I still have that option to build my own G80. The only thing is that it's gonna take like six to seven months to make my own. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, and you guys know me, <laughs> I'm super indecisive, bro. I change my mind every second. I want every other car every time I see a new one. And I don't know, I feel like in six months by now, my mind will change, bro. And I get super bored of things and I don't know. But then again, it is a crazy spec and all that good stuff. The reason I say I wanna build my own is because I would make it way cheaper than that one. That one out the door, I bet you it's gonna come out to like 120, 130. I bet, bro. And realistically, the only thing I really want on that car is the laser headlights, the carbon roof, the bucket seats, and the paint, right? I don't really care for the X-Drive, bro. The manual transmission is like $10,000 cheaper. So if we take out the X-Drive, go manual transmission, the mint color, I'll do the white bucket seats, I think it's a clean spec. And then carbon ceramic brakes is another $9,000 option. I know everyone loves carbon, cer carbon ceramic brakes, but I mean, I don't really care too much about them. I'm not tracking the car or anything like that. So I don't really care that much, bro. I know it's like, people love it. People who have carbon ceramic brakes, they say like they'll never go back to regular brakes, but I like saving money. <laughs> Two, we can get that car for like under 100K ordered in mint green color and stick shift. I think that would be freaking sick. I don't know. It got me thinking, guys. 
Should I just get a G80 again? I don't know, bro. You see what I mean? This is what I mean, though. I always change my mind, dude. But that, after seeing the color in person, I was like, holy crap. I've never thought about doing that color. I don't know why. Like, why don't I just special order one? Up until this dealership actually got one in. That was crazy. Would you guys pick the R8 or would you pick the G80? That G80 right there. And they're both similar price. <laughs> and I know the BMW G80 would do so much better for content. The videos will go viral all over Instagram, all over YouTube. I already know that for a fact. I've told you guys before, I want the supercar to like level elevate. up. Elevate myself, level up, <clears throat> network with new people, go to more supercar events like rallies and maybe even get closer to DDE and all them. All kinds of stuff, just cruise with more supercars, be around more people with money. And ultimately, that will make you more money at the end of the day. Believe it or not, it's true, I promise. The people you hang out with are the people you're gonna become. I swear to God, guys. There's literally sayings about it all the time. What is it? Like, you hang around five broke people, you're gonna be the sixth broke person. You hang around five rich people in all supercars, you're gonna be the sixth uh, rich person. Literally, bro, like, it's, there's no way you won't. And that's, that's my mindset with the supercar stuff. Like, that's what I'm saying. There's benefits of both, guys. Like, I want a supercar, I wanna elevate, I wanna level myself up. I wanna push myself, I wanna take the risk, and I wanna do it for myself because it's literally a goal of mine to own a supercar. So all of that is the reason why I want a supercar. And it's also a badass car, a freaking exotic car, you know? But then we go over here and there's a BMW with a crazy spec, sick ass color. Um, I have a huge BMW audience. It's literally what we've done my whole YouTube channel on is all BMW. This is like the holy grail last BMW that we need, you know? We like collected all the Pokemons. <laughs> this is the last one, dude. And I know that it will do super good on YouTube and Instagram. Like the BMW stuff is so good. The content's insane. I don't know why, bro. I even post my GTR and it gets like not even half the likes or views that the freaking F80 got. Like, it's crazy, bro. So I already know, imagine us drifting the G80 on YouTube or on Instagram. Bro, the videos are gonna get hit millions of views. I already know. And the R8, not so much, but it will help in other ways. So, oh, I'm stressed, guys. Help me out, comment down below, let me know. If you guys enjoyed that video, smash the like button. I'm in the video right there. Subscribe to the channel <laughs> and help me out, guys. I know at the end of the day, it's up to me. I just really need some help, guys. Let me know, peace. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle, just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.